Hello beautiful people, my name is Anora. welcome to my channel. Today I will be showing you how to do this no makeup makeup look. This makeup tutorial gonna be simple, easy and affordable. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for this video tutorial, especially uh, my girls who don't wear makeup as often. Realistically, this routine takes me about 10 minutes and this is something that I do all the time. Now, for any makeup look, a proper skincare routine is very important. I usually do my skincare routine in the mornings, then I wait a little bit, half an hour, have my breakfast, and then do my makeup. Or after doing my morning skincare routine, I do my makeup right away. There is no right or wrong, but you must remember that proper skincare routine, it's very important for any type of makeup look. Let's get started. Step one, I will start with this primer from Pixie by Petra. A client of mine talked highly about this primer from Pixie by Petra. I've never tried anything else from this line. Well, let me tell you. Using the Pixie Flawless and Poreless Primer for the first time, my skin felt smoother and softer. Also, the foundation looked flawless too. Now I'm curious to try their other products. I'm gonna brush up my eyebrows first before I fill them in. This helps me to fill in my eyebrows much easier. I always start my eyebrows first. There's no right or wrong. Some people, they start first with their face or eyes. I usually like to start first with my eyebrows. There's no, again, no right or wrong. Uh, today I'm going to use eyebrow pencil from Annabelle Cosmetics in shade Universal Ebony. Next, I'm gonna use my favorite translucent eyebrow setting gel from Morphe. This helps my thick, stubborn eyebrows hair to stay up as they naturally stay downwards. Yep, not the perfect eyebrows, but I love them. I'm going to apply the foundation with my fingers and then blending everything out into my skin evenly with a damp beauty blender. For my daily makeup routine, I always use a lighter foundation and one of my favorites is the Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless Foundation from Maybelline. My shade is 125 Nude Beige. I also go over my eyelids with the same blender as I want to cover any blemishes and at the same time look more natural. After that, I'm going to be applying a concealer that is lighter than my skin tone, under my eyes, on my forehead and nose and then blending it up with the same beauty blender. And then to set that all in, I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in light shade. You can use any kind of setting powder for this look. I will take a little bit of bronzer and will slightly darken my crease just to give it a bit of highlight. Now I'm gonna get this angle brush from Elf Cosmetics to apply bronzer on my face as a counter alternative. You can use any bronzer brush. I personally find it comfortable applying bronzer with this style of brush. Honestly, I'm obsessed with the contouring my face, so I will use a bronzer to focus on my cheekbones and then a little bit on my forehead and jawline to balance everything out. I always contour my nose. 
and today of course I'm gonna use a bronzer to do so. Next I'm going to use blush, you can use any blush. The blush that I'm gonna use today is Fit Me Maybelline in shade Rose. I'm gonna use the same brush that I applied a bronzer to apply blush. Prior to use, I'm gonna clean it from any bronzer powder that is left on it. Furthermore, one little thing that I like to do is to take a small angle brush and take just any dark brown eyeshadow. Then push that shadow into my lash line as close as possible. So, for the eyes on no makeup makeup look, you can kinda just add some mascara and that's it. Or add a little line that's super subtle and it actually makes a big difference. See the comparison between both eyes? Honestly, it is so subtle that you wouldn't have noticed if I didn't do it on camera. With the same brush that has a little bit of product on it, I'm gonna go through the lower eyelash line. This is the way that makes your lashes fuller and thicker by doing that little bit of line. Then, I'm gonna add a little bit of highlighter in the inner corner just to brighten that up. As I have straight eyelashes, I always like to curl them. I recommend you always to curl your lashes and then on the top of that, just add whatever your current favorite mascara is. I'm using the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. This is a really easy way to just open up and brighten your eyes without doing much. With a little bronzer on the crease, mascara and a tiny bit of liner is all you need. So the next step for this look is a little bit of highlighter. I'm gonna use a little bit in all of the key areas. A bit of highlighter on my cheekbones, above my eyebrows as well, a little bit on the tip of my nose that helps my nose to look a bit thinner and a tiny bit on my chin. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. For the lips, I'm gonna use a lip liner from Annabelle Cosmetics in shade Spice 300 and then I'm gonna apply over it the lip Balm from Bird's Bees. And then I always go like this just to kind of blend it so it's not super sharp all around the edges. And finally, the last thing I'm going to do is to set it with setting spray from Makeup Revolution. It's extra hold makeup fixing spray. I don't like the smell as it smells like vitamins, but I love the fact that it is really doing its job to hold my makeup throughout the day. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe to my channel, and you can also find me on Instagram. I love you guys, have a wonderful day!